Hey everyone, this is Father Leo with Plating Grace. And with the Memorial Day celebrations happening this past Monday, we might be asking ourselves, where did time go? I know I'm asking myself that because let's be honest, with the pandemic and the quarantine requirements, it's almost as if Lent has just passed us by incredibly quickly, Easter seemed just like that, and now we are now beginning the summer season, and it doesn't feel like we've even had a chance to celebrate Easter well. And to be honest with you, while it all seems like a distant memory, there were some days when it felt like it went forever. This is what happens when we are out of our normal routine. This is what happens when our schedule doesn't follow reality. And let's just realize that for the past several months, several weeks, and for the past few months, that is, we've been out of our schedule. We've been kind of out of our element. That's one reason why I'm grateful that the Catholic Church has something called the liturgical seasons. And we are now entering after the Pentecost season, which is going to be the Pentecost celebration, which is coming this coming Sunday. We're going to enter into a period called ordinary time. And that ordinary time is not simply because uh, we wear green, liturgical color green, uh, but it's, it's a time when we realize that the celebrations of Lent and Easter, they were so big and they were so intense that we kind of need time just to settle. Like everybody wants every day to feel like Christmas, at least that's what they think, but it can't happen that way. In reality, you can't feast 24-7 for the rest of your life. There has to be a time when we enter into a penitential season, like this past Lent. And then, of course, with the 40 days of Lent, it led to 50 days of celebration. But one thing that's unique about this ordinary time for us Catholics is that we don't celebrate it in an ordinary way. Because with Pentecost, which is the coming of the Holy Spirit upon us, that makes even ordinary days extraordinary opportunities to know Jesus. So even though everyone's schedule is off, and for many people, it's still very off, depending on where you live, our countries are not in sync. Some are opening up to business again, and some are still very much locked down. But I can tell you one thing, it's created a lot of division, a lot of confusion, internal chaos, and basically an unsettling experience. But that's again why the liturgical seasons can help us to stay rooted. It's now a time in our liturgical season to come after Pentecost to just allow things to settle and allow the Holy Spirit to help us to deal with feeling out of sorts, so to speak. So this is just a simple encouragement. Number one, make sure that you're inviting the Holy Spirit into your life in an active, intentional way. Because one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit is counsel, fortitude, right judgment, to help us to make decisions even when we might feel like we're not in a good place to make a decision, the Holy Spirit can help us to do that. The Holy Spirit will also give us something that can help us in season and out of season, when we're in a good mood or in a bad mood, give us the theological gifts of faith, hope, and love. And even though it's time for the church to enter into ordinary time, this is an extraordinary opportunity to practice faith, hope, and love in ordinary ways. And let me tell you, the ordinary things like being kind to someone and being more respectful to other people, being more charitable and being more gracious, that might not seem like a lot. But Mother Teresa will even say, do the ordinary and simple things with extraordinary love. And that will mean a blessing. In season, out of season, when our schedule is on point, when, when we're off schedule, but most importantly, in this unique time of our life. Stay strong in the Holy Spirit and trust that God is with you. Between now and the next time we talk, stay hungry. Mm -hmm.